Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Geminis. This is going to be for my single Geminis for January 2020. And we're really going to dig in deep and figure out what is the cause for why you are experiencing blockages in love or just when is love going to come in? All those questions are going to be answered in this reading. So stay tuned if you do want to know what's popping. Now, keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading. So you do want to use a level of discernment and your best bet is going to be a personalized reading reading or a personal session. And if you're interested in getting one with me specifically, my website, www.mysticalcrystals.com will be listed below in the description box as well as the comment section. Now we're going to get straight into it. The first thing I want to talk about is the reason for why you're single currently. Okay. And we do have the goddess of the moon and the chariot card. Okay. So with these cards showing up, this is letting me know right off the bat that a lot of you, the reason why you're single is due to the fact that you really need to use your intuition when it comes to people that you may choose as love interests. For a lot of you, there's signs that constantly show you, okay, maybe this person's a player. Maybe this person is not somebody who is ready to settle down completely or for some of you, you may have some great people in your life who do want to romantically pursue you, but you may have not given it much energy. And because of that, you may be missing some blessings. So keep in mind um, with any situations that have been just constantly a rocky roller coaster in regards to figuring out like where is it going, things of that nature, it's time for you to move forward. Um, also with the the chariot here for a lot of you this is also like you needing to yeah for a lot of you this is you moving forward after maybe possibly getting cheated on for some of you and it may be hard for you to forgive the fact that somebody did um do some shady stuff behind your back okay now, when it comes to the blockages that may be stopping you from receiving love at this current moment, I do have the yin and yang card clarified by the five of swords. So this may be you needing to get more uh, of an understanding of how relationships actually are beneficial. For some of you who are single, you may be in a space of being like, well, fuck love. I don't want to be in a relationship. I don't want to think about that. Or you could be someone who's wanting love, but you may not be balanced in your own energy. So there's a need for you to either get balanced within yourself or understand the balance of a relationship and how much it can provide um, as far as support. Because feminine and masculine energy is most powerful when they're combined and they come together and they create one. So for a lot of you, you do need to understand. That. Also with the five of swords, this is, again, staying away from people who are mentally manipulative. If you notice certain things, you pick up on certain things. As soon as you pick up on it, I'm sorry to say it, but you got to, you know, distance yourself from those situations. Because at the end of the day, if you keep investing yourself in situations where you get a sense it's not working out or certain signs are showing you, you're only hurting yourself. Okay. Now, clarifying the five of swords, I do have the... The nine of wands and the seven of wands. So yeah, this is also not being so defensive, like mentally psyching yourself out of receiving new love as well due to the hardships that you already went through. Okay, this is too common where people get hurt and then they're just like, okay, I'm just done with dating forever. Okay. Now, when it comes to how you can find new love right now, I do have the financial constraints card clarified by the ace of pentacles. So for a lot of you, you may not be in a space to where you really want new love right now. You may be wanting to get your financial situation in order more than anything. If you're a male, you may be feeling like, well, you need more money um, to pursue a female um, or really court her the right way, like take her out on dates and things of that nature. If you're a female, you may be uh, needing to stay away from broke men. <laughs> I'm joking, but I'm, I'm kind of serious for some of you. If you're tired of having to pick up the financial burden as far as, you know, every time you guys go out to eat, you're paying or, you know, having somebody who's looking at you to be the, the purse. A lot of you, you need to realize, OK, if you're dealing with somebody who doesn't have their own stuff together, how could you offer me something stable? Not saying you got to be with somebody who's going to give you money. 
I'm just saying you got to make sure that the person is stable for themselves so that you don't have to be taking care of somebody who is grown. <laughs> okay. That's for somebody out there. Um, and yeah, for a lot of you, this is also knowing your worth and not settling for anything less than what you deserve. Um, for a lot of you, you haven't been honoring that. Okay. And understanding that certain people just do not deserve your energy. Now, when it comes to what I'm seeing for what you need to avoid, okay, I do have the happy family card clarified by the three of pentacles. So if you're dealing with somebody who's married or who may have some sort of family situation, your best bet is to stay very clear from that situation, okay? Even if you found out just yesterday this person was married um, or had a whole family, you want to stay completely clear from any situation that's designed that way because this person is going to pick their 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 spouse even if they're telling you they're about to get a divorce this person is going to pick their spouse over the relationship and it's just going to mess things up even if this person does have like a family situation with someone else like they have kids with someone else and it's like really weird and you're not clear on what's going on with that situation you're not going to be happy in the end. So save yourself the disappointment by stepping away now. Okay. Also, stay away from anybody who's trying to rush you into like having kids super, super fast, especially if you're not ready. That's for somebody. Now, when it comes to the outcome of January 2020, I do have the action card clarified by the eight of wands. So there is going to be some fast, I'm talking about super fast action that's going to be coming at you in regards to new opportunities in love. If you open yourself up, I'm telling you, you are going to be uh, very surprised with the opportunities that are just going to fly in in regards to uh, dating possibilities okay clarifying that i do have the eight of cups and i do have the four of pentacles this is really going to happen after you look at what you're not emotionally satisfied with for a lot of you the reason why you're still single is because you're still holding on to a situation where you're not even getting what you want out of it so until you realize you're not getting what you want out of this situation um things are going to be weird but there is going to be a new connection that's going to definitely come in once you Take the high road and focus on new connections. Now, let's just take a look at the overall energy we have down here. We do have the deception card clarified by the past life relationship card. So for a lot of you, you may have dealt with somebody who was a little bit of a cheater or just was very dishonest about certain things. Um, for a lot of you, this could have been a past relationship that you were in. This doesn't have to be something completely recent. Uh, for some of you, it could be recent. It's just you guys feel so close to this person. The fact that they lied to you may be making you feel kind of devastated and kind of like, well, what the fuck? Okay. Um, clarifying this. Yeah. For a lot of you also may feel as if there's a lot of defensive energy coming off of this person's aura, even though you really care about them. Um, and it's just, again, for some of you, if it's not like a past person that you're still um, involved with in some sort of way, this may be you guys needing to loosen up in your energy and really allow newness to come into your life. Now, what I do have for the message for you, it says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So again, this is your thought process that's keeping you from welcoming in that new love. And until you shift that, things are going to be weird <laughs> as far as like it just feeling a little dry in the love department. OK, so make sure you're not thinking about negative thoughts of when you got cheated on or when things didn't work out because now is a new day, a new opportunity. So that's going to be it. Thank you so much, Gemini's for watching this. I hope that you were able to take something from this. Uh, again, if you do want a personal session with me, my information will be listed for you uh, down in the description box as well as the comment section. And please, if you can, please thumbs up this video, comment below, Drop a butterfly if you made it to this part of the video so I know who's who's a real one. And just thank you again for your support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.